Our next mechanism is the worm and wheel assembly. The worm and wheel assembly has two different type of gears that are working together. This is called the worm and this is the wheel. The worm is attached to our input and our wheel is attached to our output. Let's talk through the worm and wheel. First, let's notice the angle. This shaft is going in this direction and the, out, the input shaft is going in this direction and the output shaft is going in this direction. Those are crisscrossing each other. And in fact, it goes on top of. So that is intersecting at 90 degrees. So our angle of the shafts from input to output is 90 degrees intersecting. Maybe we get a top view just so you can see a downward view of that input to output. Let's talk about the types of movement that the worm and wheel has. The input is a standard rotary with a handle and you'll notice the output is a rotary going at the 90 degree angle. So our input and output movements are both rotary movement. Let's talk about the gear ratio. This worm acts like a gear with one tooth on it. It's a little bit weird, but this single tooth means one full rotation. How many rotations will it take to make this 24 tooth gear go all the way around in one circle? Well, let's take a look. If we start here to go around, to make this go all the way around in one full rotation, it will be 24 turns. After I have rotated around 24 times, this gear will have made one full revolution. That makes the gear ratio 24 turns to one turn on the output, 24 to one. What does this do to our speed and our torque? This greatly decreases our speed because this is moving really slow and this is moving fast, but this is moving really slow on the output. So it decreases our speed, but it increases, makes this very, very strong. So we have increased torque or power. The flow of power on this, which is can you make the input shaft turn by turning the output, is not turnable. I'm trying to turn this and I just can't make this turn. Even if I push on this, I just can't make that worm turn. So um, the flow of power is not reversible, no matter how hard I try. In fact, I'll break it if I try to. So the direction of travel, however, is reversible. I can go the other way. Where would I use this? Maybe on a drawbridge. I turn this to raise the drawbridge, and then after it's raised, I turn it the other way to lower the drawbridge. This is the worm and wheel assembly.